Welcome to the Texas School Safety Center's A Guide to Preventing Bullying for Elementary, Kindergarten through Second Grade. What is a bully? Someone who is mean to you and picks on you. Someone who is not very nice and is not a good friend. A person who hurts you on purpose. Why shouldn't you be a bully? No one likes a bully. They can seriously hurt someone's feelings. Yeah, they're really mean. It's not the right thing to do. Hurting others is not nice. Why should you be kind? It's the right thing to do. You should treat others the way you want to be treated. Being kind makes you happy. Bullying is when you do something on purpose to hurt someone else. Bullying can include writing threatening messages like, if you come to school tomorrow, you're going to get beat up. Saying mean things to someone over and over. Posting hurtful comments on social media, through texting, or gaming platforms. Or bullying can be pinching, punching, kicking, or pushing someone. Bullying is when the person or group picking on you is bigger or stronger than you. They might think they are better than you, more popular, have more followers, likes, or subscribers. It can be something that happens once and makes you feel really bad about yourself or hurts you. Or bullying can be something that happens more than one time. Cyberbullying is a type of bullying that happens through a device like a phone, tablet, or computer. It includes sending, posting, or sharing harmful or untrue things about someone to hurt them or their feelings. Cyberbullying doesn't just happen at school. It can happen anywhere, at home, on the school bus, at the ballpark, on social media, through gaming platforms, or any time before or after school hours, but it still bothers you at school. Bullying is something that affects you at school and can make you feel unsafe or make it hard to learn. Bullying is not cool and not a good way to make friends or become popular. You can lose friends because of bullying. No one wants to be around someone that makes them or others feel bad. There are big punishments for bullying. You can get in trouble at school and the principal will call your parents and let them know what's going on. But being a bully isn't forever. You can always change and make better choices to not bully others and to be kind to one another. If you think or you know you are a bully, it doesn't mean you can't change. You can. You can also ask a trusted adult for help. It can be confusing to know what bullying is. And sometimes kids can be rude or mean to each other. But that doesn't make it bullying. Being rude can be making ugly faces at someone, cutting in line, or burping in someone's face. Being mean can be saying things like, I hate you, or shut up. But if someone is being mean to you over and over, then it might be bullying. Just because it isn't bullying doesn't make it okay when someone is rude or mean to you. You should still tell a trusted adult if someone isn't treating you kindly or you see something that just doesn't feel right. We have now talked about the differences in bullying and being rude or mean. Just a reminder. Bullying is doing something on purpose to hurt someone else. It can be one big thing that hurts you or your feelings. Or it can be something that happens more than one time. Bullying is when a person or a group is picking on you. They might be bigger, stronger, more popular, or you might be outnumbered. And bullying also affects you at school. It can make you feel unsafe or make it hard to learn. Let's look at some examples and decide if these kids are being rude, mean, or if they're bullying. I know you saw me take that money from Ms. Chapman's purse. I promise I won't tell anyone. You better not.
not, you'll regret it. I have a lot of friends in this school. <gasps> Such a good friend. Mom, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. This scenario is bullying. It's one big thing that happened. The older boy is threatening the younger boy. He has a lot of friends at school, so the younger boy could be outnumbered. The younger boy is scared. He is asking to be picked up and miss school because of the threats, and he doesn't feel safe at school. The older boy is doing something on purpose to hurt the younger boy. Mia, why'd you ditch me at recess yesterday? I thought we were supposed to be best friends. I was hanging out with my other best friend, Stacy. You can only have one best friend. But I like both of y'all. You have to choose or we aren't friends. But I don't want to choose. I want to be friends with both of y'all. Whatever. Hang out with your stupid best friends. I hate you. Oh. Come on, Mia. Who needs her anyway? You're right. Whatever. This scenario is someone being mean. Lily said, I hate you, which is not very nice, but this isn't something that has happened over and over. Mia doesn't seem too upset by what Lily said. This wasn't a big thing that happened. Friends sometimes have arguments, and it's okay for friend groups to change. Just make sure you're not rude or mean to others. Oh. Ew, look at what she's wearing. <laughs> Have you smelled her? She stinks so bad. <laughs> I asked her if she went to shower last week. I guess the answer is no. <laughs> hey, where'd you get your clothes from? The dumpster? <laughs> Do you even shower? <laughs> You, she's so gross. Yeah. I know. Hey guys, come on. I think it's time to line up. Ew, did someone slip in poop? Ugh, I'm not gonna be by her. You be by her. Oh no, you be by her. This scenario is bullying. The group is saying things on purpose to hurt the girl's feelings. This isn't the first time the group has said mean things to her. She is very upset by the comments that are being said to her. This will make it hard for her to learn because she is very sad and embarrassed. As you can see, not every situation is bullying. Now let's talk about how to report bullying. What should you do if you think you're being bullied or someone is rude or mean to you? Oh, you should tell your teacher. You should tell your parents. Oh, you should tell the principal. You should tell a trusted adult. Good. What should you do if you see someone being bullied? You should ask them if they're okay. You should ask, you should tell your teacher. You should tell a trusted adult. Tell the bully to stop. If someone is picking on you or making you feel bad, it's important to tell a trusted adult. Adults can't help you if they don't know. Well, yeah, but what if I don't want, want to be called a tattletale or snitch? Yeah, me neither. But isn't snitching and reporting different? Snitching is whenever you try to get someone in trouble on purpose for something small. Like telling your teacher someone took two pieces of candy instead of one, so they get in trouble. Okay, so telling or reporting is letting a trusted adult know so they can help you or your classmate because something's not right or someone isn't safe. How can I report it? You can tell a trusted adult like a principal, coach, counselor, teacher, or your parents. Well, what if I'm too scared to tell someone in person and I don't want anyone to know it was me? You can report it online without anybody knowing. Your school has an anonymous reporting tool and your teacher can show you how to access it. You can help put an end to bullying by being kind and helping others. If you see something that just doesn't seem right, Tell a trusted adult. It's your job to look out for each other and build a positive school community. You can invite someone to have lunch with you, talk to the new kid in class, play with someone who is lonely at recess, or just be a friend. You never know what others are going through. 
The Texas School Safety Center thanks you for choosing kindness.